Are you ready for a mind-blowing journey into the unknown? Today, we're going to be talking about the incredible discoveries made by Voyager on its final mission. As the spacecraft reached the edge of our solar system, it sent back some of the most peculiar and unexplainable data ever recorded. Are we on the brink of discovering something truly mind-boggling? Let's find out together. The History of Voyager the twin spacecraft Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched by NASA in separate months in the summer of 1977 from Cape Canaveral, Florida. As originally designed, the Voyagers were to conduct close-up studies of Jupiter and Saturn, Saturn's rings, and the larger moons of the two planets. To accomplish their two-planet mission, the spacecraft were built to last five years. But as the mission went on, and with the achievement of all its objectives, the additional flybys of the two outermost giant planets, Uranus and Neptune, proved possible, and irresistible to mission scientists and engineers at the Voyager's home at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. In the golden days of Voyager 1 No spacecraft has gone farther than NASA's Voyager 1. Launched in 1977 to fly by Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space in August 2012, and continues to collect data. Voyager 1 and its sister ship Voyager 2 have been flying longer than any other spacecraft in history. Not only are the Voyager missions providing humanity with observations of truly uncharted territory, but they are also helping scientists understand the very nature of energy and radiation in space, key information for protecting future missions and astronauts. Voyager 1 carries a copy of the Golden Record, a message from humanity to the cosmos that includes greetings in 55 languages, pictures of people and places on Earth, and music ranging from Beethoven to Chuck Berry's Johnny B. Good. Data glitch in Voyager 1 in its final moments. In 2010, it was discovered that Voyager 1, NASA's space probe launched in 1977, was sending back incorrect data about its location in the solar system. Specifically, the probe's plasma instrument was registering a consistently higher than expected plasma density, indicating that Voyager 1 was still in the outer reaches of the solar system. However, other instruments on board the probe were showing signs that it had entered a region known as the heliosheath, the outermost layer of the sun's influence for the solar wind is slowed by interstellar gas. After extensive analysis, it was determined that the plasma instrument was being affected by the probe's radioisotope thermoelectric generator, which was producing a small electrical current that was distorting the plasma data. Back in May, NASA reported that the Voyager 1 space probe was sending back jumbled or inaccurate telemetry data. The probe itself seemed to be in good shape, with a signal that was still strong enough to beam back information, and nothing was triggering its fault protection systems that would put it in safe mode. According to NASA, the Voyager team has not only figured the problem out since then, it has also solved the issue. Turns out we're getting jumbled data here on Earth because the probe's Attitude Articulation and Control System, AADCS, has been sending back information through an onboard computer that had stopped working years ago. The computer was corrupting the data before it even went out. Voyager project manager Susan Dodds said that when her team suspected that this was the issue, they implemented a low-risk fix. They commanded the AACS to send its data through the probe's working computer again. The probe was sending back data through a broken onboard computer. Back in May, NASA reported that the Voyager 1 space probe was sending back jumbled or inaccurate telemetry data. NASA fixed the error. There was a data glitch that was sent from Voyager 1 on November 2020, and NASA's researchers worked hard to fix the issue. Voyager 1 is a spacecraft that was launched in 1977 and is currently the farthest human-made object from Earth as it travels through interstellar space. The data glitch was caused by a hardware fault in the spacecraft's computer system, which affected the output of scientific data. The fault was caused by a bit flip, which is when a single bit in the computer's memory changes from a zero to a one or vice versa Researchers due to radiation to identify the source of the factors. problem and developed a software patch to fix it. They then sent the patch to Voyager 1's computer system, which was able to execute it and correct the issue. This fix enabled Voyager 1 to continue sending important scientific data back to Earth, including measurements of cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and plasma. 
The successful fix of a data glitch is a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of NASA's researchers and the remarkable resilience of Voyager 1, which has been operating for over 40 years and is still providing valuable insights into the mysteries of the universe. Voyager 1's Last Mission The probe is well into the fourth decade of its mission, and it hasn't come near a planet since it flew past Saturn in 1980. But even as it drifts farther and farther from a dimming sun, it's still sending information back to Earth, as scientists recently reported in the Astrophysical Journal. For decades, Voyager has been sailing away at around 11 miles, 17 kilometers, every second. Each year, it travels another 3.5 AU, the distance between Earth and the Sun, away from us. Now, it's sending messages home even as it prepares to leave the solar system behind. There are multiple ways to think about the edge of a solar system. One is a boundary region called heliopause. Meanwhile, Voyager 1 is still within the Sun's gravitational influence. In about 300 years, scientists expect Voyager 1 will start to enter the inner edge of the Oort cloud, that shroud of comets which stretches as far as several light years away. As a result, Voyager 1 is starting to lose fuel. Scientists are already having to make choices about which parts of the probe they should keep functional. By the mid-2020s, likely the probe won't be able to power even a single instrument. Still, scientists like Kurth hope they can eat the probe's life out to 2027, the 50th anniversary of its launch. That, Kurth says, is a milestone that none of Voyager 1's designers could ever have foreseen. And there you have it, the incredible mysterious, and thought-provoking data from the Voyager's final mission. It's hard to say what these findings mean, but one thing is certain, they've left us with more questions than answers. We hope you enjoyed diving into the mysteries of the universe with us today. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. And as always, leave your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring.